it led to, I think you saw the Saturday Night Live skit in which there was actually God telling you in the locker room, Tim, it's all me. I, I did this whole thing. So help me out on this. I do share your faith. Don't pretend to be as faithful as you are. But I wonder about this. How much of a role does God play in winning or losing a football game? Uh, I mean, that's a, that's a good question. I think for me, uh, you know, when I'm praying before games and during games, when I get on a knee and what's become T Bowen, is you know I'm asking the Lord for strength, whether I win, whether yeah, I, I lose. I heard you when you're mic'd up. Whether I'm a hero or the goat, okay, okay. I'm still going to be the same person. I'm going to treat others the way I want to be treated. I'm going to do my best, and I'm going to do what's right. And regardless, I'm going to give Him the glory. And part of taking a knee is humbling yourself. And it's a form of, of showing humility where you're putting someone else first and yep. putting the Lord first. And that's why I do it. And, um, and more than anything, more than asking for wins or losses, I'm asking that I have a platform to honor Him. Um, but, you know, I do know that if we go out there and honor the Lord, then ultimately it's bigger than a win or a loss. So, bottom line, you don't think God decides football games? Um, you know, I think God's involved in every or, or aspect it, of our life. Is it beyond you to know? It's absolutely beyond me to know. I think God's in every aspect of our life, um, regardless. And I think the greatest thing is if, if we're honoring Him with what we do. Whether it's, it's you know, part of God's plan to lose the game, win the game, it doesn't matter, just as long as we honor Him. And uh, I think that's the, the biggest thing you know, for me to understand is God's plan doesn't always mean it's going to be great or it's going to be easy exactly. or the well life's going to be easy. It just means that, that honoring Him is always the best way. It doesn't mean it's you know, the most famous way or the most fun way, but it always is going to end up being the best. We play a game that at the end of the day is a game, and it doesn't matter whether you win, whether you lose. Yes, we're super passionate about it, a lot of people care about it, but it's how you handle yourself. And for me, it's about using a platform that God has given me, because it doesn't matter how many games I win or how many touchdowns I score. If I don't use a platform to influence people's lives, okay. then I believe it's wasted. But I believe if I take the opportunity um, to use my platform and be a great example, um, you know, be a great example for the next generation. Be someone that a mom or a dad can look to their son and say, you know, there's someone that's trying to do it the, r the right way. There's someone that's trying to live with character, strength, and honor, and do what's right, do his best, and treat others the way he wants to be treated. Then ultimately, that's worth it because then I believe I'm having a life of significance and meaning because I'm affecting other people's lives in a positive example.